whistles for this evening's contest are Mr. Charles Banks, Mr. Craig Johnson, and Mr. Miguel Warren.
Davis takes both free throws, making it a 22 to 1 game going at the end of the second quarter. The three at the end and they does not go in. Tigers up. Lincoln Tigers up 21 points. Coach, hop on the mic. Got some momentum in this game, you'll have to find out. Where's Davis in the corner for three? Uh, the need for three, all oh, in and out. Make the Tigers get another rebound, though. Ajani oh, loses control of the ball.
bad to see you stop to get oh, shot. My bad. You're good.
play. <laughs> Knights bring up the ball. Let's see if Lincoln Tigers can get another stop like they've done all night. And boom, there's a steal by Issa and Ajani on the break, and it's a layup. And the foul finished through the contact. Two makes the first one. three and it's a miss but Lincoln Tigers get the rebound once again. Ball goes to the corner for another three. They get, it's a miss but they get their rebound once again. Lincoln Tigers are hu just out hustling the team. They simply want it more. Cross court pass to Corey Davis. She drives baseline. Takes a little close range shot at the block. She misses it. Jason gets the rebound, throws it up. It's an arrow ball and then the ball is out of bounds. Tigers get the ball, they're pushing down the court. Torres Davis with a split through the D and finishes easily at the run. It's 44 to 8. This is a sure blowout game. I don't see Vincent Tiger throwing this one away. There's another foul. Another foul to Lincoln Tigers. Two shots. Seems to be the only one on her team who really wants this game. We'll see if she can single handedly bring him back in the game, but it hasn't happened so far. Lincoln Tigers go to sub. Just to start us out the game and assume the truth for the rest of the game. Bradley brings the ball up from the floor for the Lincoln Tigers. That's the lead. Easy bounce pass inside, back out. And it's a three from Davis, and she cans it. They are up 30-something uh, points by this time. This is just it's a sad to watch. You can only see that the morals of the Knights have to be low by this point. They missed a shot, but they managed to get their own rebound, which is the first for this game. Ball goes out of bounds to the Lincoln Tigers. And there we go, Lincoln Tigers back at it again with another game. The boys says to the Lincoln Tigers here. <laughs> More subs for the Lincoln Tigers. No 
Tiger looks for this open shot. They find it. It's a three by Ty. Ty's picking. They're missing. And he gets an easy rebound and it's kicked out of bounds by the Lincoln Tigers there. Yeah, they do it. I'm surprised there's not a running clock on this game yet, looking at the score. You'd almost be surprised. Four for three, and Kansas from deep. The Knights are finally in double digits on the scoreboard. Flanks the ball, flanks the ball, good offense. Ah. Bad pass. Knight puts to push the ball if he's going to get an easy bucket. He gets the easy bucket. Knight has scored five straight points. Let's see if they can keep it up. Score is 14 to 47. With two minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. And Lincoln Tiger step out of bounds. Knight get the ball. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they do. It's a push on number 24. Link of Tigers look inside. And she passes out. Link of Look to swing the ball again like they've done all game. Look inside, once again, kicks it back out, open three. Oh, they miss it. They get the rebound, though. Look to push the ball. It's a pass, open three for the night, and they make it. from Lincoln Tigers. Let's see what they do. And goes back to the wing. Looks inside. Tigers bring the ball up to the top of the key, looks for the wing like always, another open three, and it's off though. But they do get the rebound, it's the same thing over and over, all game again. Another deep three, it hits off the back of the backboard, and then they get it. Nice look to push the ball, but there's a reaching foul. Oh no, travel. Travel, ball, ball goes back to Lincoln Tigers. Let's see if they can get another bucket here to push their lead even further. Right now they have a 30 point lead over the Knights. Ball goes top of the key, mid-range, and it's good. 32-point lead. This is crazy to watch. And it seems like the crowd that came out to support the Knights have gone dead silent in this game. There's another rebound from Lincoln Tigers, and they look to push it up. And that's the end of the third quarter, 49-17. for the fourth quarter, 17 to 49. 
Lincoln Flag has our four timeouts, the Knights have three timeouts. It should be a running clock this quarter considering the very large lead that the Knights have. I mean that the Tigers have. Lincoln Prep gets a no, nope, Lincoln Prep comes up with a loose ball. They get on the floor to get it. Nope, the Knights end up coming up with the ball. The Knights get an open three and it's in and out. Lincoln Prep gets the rebound. Lincoln Prep steps out of bounds, gets the ball back, right back on defense. Lincoln Prep seems to have a slow start coming out of every quarter except for the first. Let's see what they can do here to clean it up. Ball gets in. It's a miss. They get the rebound. On the floor they go, but the Knights come up with it. Let's see what they do. Lincoln Prep uh, fights for the ball. Doesn't get the rebound. The Knights do not come up with the, with the point though. Seems like the Knights have found some new energy playing. Great defense. Lincoln Tigers trying to get it out of the backcourt. They are in here for the game. Let's see what happens. Knox Pippen looks to find the open person. Finds it. Comes up to the top of the key with a great swing. Lincoln Tigers give up a steal. They're not even running to get back on defense. They give up the open layup. But she blows the layup. Can you believe it? She missed the open layup. Mind you guys, this is a varsity basketball game. Ball goes to the corner. Back up top. Swings to the... Back inside. Lincoln Prep seems hesitant to score the ball here. Whoa. That crossover seems to have the other player leaning. But she runs down and gets the rebound for her team. Easy layup to get inside to finally get a bucket for the Lincoln Tigers in the fourth quarter. Lincoln Tigers have scored 41 points for the night 17 in this whole game. This will be another great victory for the Lincoln Tigers. Oh, it's a block three by number one. A block three by Amaya Williams. Lincoln Tigers come up with the rebound, but the ball floats out of bounds. Stays down there. Lincoln Tigers get a new 10 seconds to bring the ball up the court. Lincoln Tigers appear to be setting up what looks to be a press break. And Lincoln Tigers turn the ball over once again. This has been a very sloppy fourth quarter for the, fourth quarter for the Lincoln Tigers. Team. What will they do to correct this? We'll soon to find out. The coach does not look happy with his team right now. The ball goes out of bound on a missed three by the Knights. Lincoln will get the ball. Let's see if they can push it up the court. Foul on the Knights. Let's see who the ball goes. 
Five on mine. So are we in free throws? Yes, we are in free throws. Two shots. And push. Ball goes to the corner, looking for the shot. It's also hard back. But Lincoln Tigers gets the rebound. <laughs> Lincoln Tigers looks to get another stop here on defense. Seems like the win is everything but secured at this point in the game. Look to push the ball up the court to get a bucket. She misses the layup, but they give the foul. Nice make the first three though, giving them 18 points. Yeah, the game keeps going the way it is. The Lincoln Tigers will move to 6-1 on the season while the Southeast Knights fall to 5-2. It almost seems like the girls have no competition in this league. What would they do? They missed the second free throw, leaving the Lincoln Tigers lead still at 33 points. Ooh. She's like Delilah Pippen, almost like the meanest hero step of her high school career. And she was fouled on the shot. Less than a minute left in the game. Appears to be running clock. Lincoln Tigers have the victory in the bag here. It was a good hustle by the girl by the Southeast Knights towards the end of the game, but it was a little too late. And Lincoln Tigers will probably look here just to dribble out the clock for the rest of the game. Clock with the Lincoln Tigers up. That's all that, and that's all she wrote, folks. Southeast Knights take an L here against the nearly undefeated Lincoln Tigers with only one loss on the season. And that's the game, folks. 52 to 20 will be your final score. The Varsity Boys play at 7.30, so come back in 24 minutes or stick around if you feel the need.
Southeast Knights, Lincoln Tigers are five and five on the season. Southeast Knights are three and nine. Lincoln Tigers appear to have the height advantage, but the Southeast Knights do have more deaths, only by a couple of players. So that's good. That could be the change of the game. Jessica Pearson, Adrian Robinson, EJ Vest. And Deshaun with JT Washington. Lincoln Tigers are 2 0 on the day. Let's see if they can push that to 3. 3 0 have a clean sweep of the team that knocked them out of the playoffs last year. So it stands that most people have the Southeast Knights pick to win the Interscholastic League over the Lincoln Tigers. So let's see what happens here tonight. This will be a sure prover. See what happens here tonight. Adrian Shepard sets the jump, standing at 6'4". He's also a senior. We got two seniors on the floor tonight for the Lincoln Tigers. Let's see what they do. Lincoln Tigers get the board. JT Rock sets the toe over both the EJ Betts and Twin Guard. Let's see what he does. Nice double screen coming off the top. Deshaun takes it, puts a move on. And just appears for three, he's deep. Nope, Deshaun wants to get the back though. Lincoln Tigers. Ball goes to the middle, Adrian can't control it. They get it back though. JT Washington, the senior from deep. He missed it. He follows his shot, though. Gets it taken away from him. Southeast Knights on the break. They get a dunk to start off the game. It seems like it's going to be a very lively game here tonight. Adrian gets the ball down low. Passes it back up. They're out. Knights are out on the fast break again because of foul. here and down early. You know it's only one bucket. It could change the tide of the game. EJ Betts seems to pick up a half court. Hands off. Lincoln Tigers out in the new uniforms. Let's see if they make it work. The senior playing amazing defense. Perfect position. Yes, sir. Lincoln Tigers with Dean up. Forced the timeout. Take a timeout. Make it back on the floor. Let's see what they can do. Let's 
Southeast Knights seem to be the team with the more. Good best to pick up a half court once again. Lincoln Tigers seem to be playing beautiful defense. Amazing team defense. But right, they give up a layup. The senior brings the ball up the floor. Let's see what they do with it. Swing to the middle. It's a cut. But he's in best. This is a layup. He gets back. He's picked up on defense. Let's see what they do. Lincoln Tigers seem to have amazing special awareness for this game. Beautiful defense by the Lincoln Tigers. Close out on the corner. Beautiful defense by the Tigers. The Knights are at a difficulty to score. They don't know what they want to do with the ball. EJ Betts with the steal. He's off on the break. Pass is back for Adrian with the, over, with the layup. Lincoln Tigers are on the board. It's a one point. It's a one four game. Let's see if the Lincoln Tigers will win this game with their defense alone. Start from the top of the key and it gets a friendly roll. Oh. Aaron Bedell is in the game. He made first team all district last year and first team all defense team last year. Let's see what he can do. If that name sounds familiar, then yes, he is the son of Dr. Bedell, the superintendent of the school in another district. Let's see what they can do here on defense. The team looks ready. The team looks ready to go. Adjust the person out on the boat with a steal. Easy layup. It's back to being a two-point game. Let's see what the Lincoln Tigers do. The ball gets out in front. Wild shot off the glass. But the Knights seem to control it. They get the hook shot and it's back in. Eight to four. Eight to four is the score. Let's see how it rocks out. Pass to the wing. Beautiful cut inside, but it's hit. No, they saved it. Knights have the ball, they're pushing up the floor. Into the corner, he can't control the pass, but the wall pass out of bounds, back to Lincoln Tiger's ball. Lincoln Tiger's bring the ball up the court. The cross court. Boy Thomas gets the pump fake. Going to Adrian, the senior in the corner, who decides not to take the shot. Torrin takes the ball up top, swings it back out. EJ Betts gets it out for the contested finish. Makes it a one-score game once again. EJ Betts decides to pick up. He's first a pretty good defender this game. Everything's here. D and up. We're sitting on this defensive team. If they will win this game, they will win it with their defense. Torn gets a deflection off the steal. There's a fight. The ball's loose. And the Knights throw the ball out of bounds. And Rico Gilman is in the game with guard, the six foot guard. You might know his name because he's a senior from the football team who's really good. There's a timeout on the side of the Knights, so let's see what happens. Another 30 seconds. They only have one more left. is running again. Ball is going. Short corner, Aaron Bedell 
Bell gets the ball inside. Contested finish, but doesn't get it to go. Southeast Knights get the ball. Uh, we're back to playing defense for the Lincoln Tigers. Lincoln Tigers back to playing defense. They seem to be sitting pretty good on this defensive end here tonight. You and there's another steal by Justin Pearson. He's out on the break. Finish oh, over the high flying big for Southeast. Lincoln Tigers appear to be in a man defense. They'll just be what they need. And there's out of bounds. Great defensive possession by the Lincoln Tigers. They look to here take the they look here to take the uh, lead of the game for their first lead of the game. Northeast looks to be pressing. Lincoln Tigers have set up in the classic press break and look to advance the ball as easily as possible. Torrance Thomas pulls up to the mid range and misses. Aaron Bedell corrals the rebound, gets back, we're at the top of the key. And Justin Pearson surveys the floor and see what he has to work with. The sophomore guard. Kicks out to Justin, and then the board goes to Southeast, but Lincoln appears to be getting back. And then that's a steal. They're off in the races once again. High floater off the glass with corralled by the big three. Yes, sir, and that's a travel on the northeast. On the southeast, I'm sorry, and that makes the three pointer not count. Justin Pearson with a beautiful move to get inside, but he misses the layup. The coaches do not appear to be happy with this game so far. Let's see what happens here. And beautiful defensive possession. Ball is out to Justin Pearson. And gets the, oh, he blows the layup though. Warren Thomas is there on defense. They get inside, Rico Gilman gets the rebound, and he looks to push the ball. Oh, something happened. And then the ball is a clean block out of bounds by Justin Pearson, and he strips the ball. See if Lincoln can get another stop here on defense. And they miss the layup. Up and down. Up and down. And the up and down call is called by the refs. Therefore, Lincoln gets the ball back on a beautiful defensive possession to stop the inbound play. Six seconds of the clock. Let's see what Enrico Goodman does. Torn pulls up for the three, and that's all. Washington, the senior, looks to check into the game. Score being eight to eight at the end of the first quarter, it's really still anybody's game. Let's see if the high flying bigs of Southeast will win or if the defense of the Lincoln Tigers can shut them down this game. to be with the Southeast Knights. Let's see what they can do. Yeah. 
Ball is in for the Southeast Knights. Let's see what they can do. And beautiful defensive trap by... Beautiful hot trap by the team. know exactly what to do with that situation to get him the easy bucket. Lincoln Tigers have taken their first lead of the game. And I know it has to be refreshing knowing all the hard work they put in this season. Lincoln Tigers are once again playing beautiful defense, having each other's help, and you can even hear them talking here on the court. Everybody's here, a four shot by the night. And then we're back at it again, pushing out on the break, but the throw, the pass is a little too far ahead of the, of the running teammate. And it else coming out of the game for Adrian Roberson. Let's see what the senior can do. And here we come. Lincoln Knight, the Lincoln Tigers have once again sitting on the ball. They are sitting here holding the ball. Let's see if the Lincoln Tigers can play good defense once again. That's how they kept themselves in this game. With the Tigers once again sitting on defense. Seem to make a tough pass. And the pass goes through though. Make the Tigers sitting here on sitting here on defense. Pass gets down to the low block. Ball is really going everywhere. Ball comes back to the top of the key with no shot clock. Falls out on the deep three. But they can't corral the rebound and Lincoln Tigers have the ball. And look to push the ball forward. Enrico Gilman pushes up the court to senior. Jeremiah Randall has the ball. Let's see what he looks to do. Up and under by the senior, JC. Is really working on it. Sophomores, get, I mean, Southeast gets the ball in the game. Let's see what they can do. That's, Lincoln Tigers are playing great defense once again. But the stop goes to the Lincoln Tigers after the interesting moves from uh, Southeast Knights. Let's see what they can do. Will the team ball beat the, will the Lincoln Tigers beat the Southeast Knights ISO handle? Let's find out. The seniors have the ball up top. Back to the junior. Let's see what he can do. He pulls it out and calls a new offensive play. Let's see what happens. And let's see what Jeremiah Randall can do with the ball. As you see, he almost makes a fall, but then he gets fouled. That was almost going to be a highlight reel for the junior. Let's see what they can do. Jeremiah Randall, deep three. He misses. He's back on defense, though. They get the ball back with the tip. The senior decides to bring it back out. Seems like a smart play since they didn't have numbers. Seems like the team looked to get back on defense. But he couldn't corral the pass. And then Knights have scored, making it a two-point game. Let's see what they can do. They get the ball in there. Eli Betts with the floater on the inside, cuts through the defense to get the easy two. They're up by four. There, see, Lincoln Tigers have taken an easy lead in this game. So, 
Beautiful defense by the senior. He just gets out rebounded. Easy pull up mid range, but it's off. The senior comes up with the rebound, but he gets fouled. He gets fouled. The ball stays with the Lincoln Tigers. We have our other senior, Deshaun Merritt, checking into the game for the first time. Listen, as a six foot forward. Let's see what he can do. Just they can't corral the pass, so there it goes out of bounds. Southeast ball. 30 second timeout on the Lincoln Tigers. Tigers, let's see if this game is going. Lincoln Tigers have a two point lead, one possession game. With one minute and 30 seconds left in the first quarter? I thought it was the second quarter. I might be wrong, but I guess it's still the first quarter. The second quarter, I guess the scoreboard is wrong. I'm mistaken. Lincoln Tigers are playing beautiful defense once again. Beautiful team defense by the Lincoln Tigers looks to shut down the lane and make them beat them from distance. Pulls out on the shooter. Keeps the ball moving. Beautiful defense by the Lincoln Tigers. They seem to really know what they want to do here on defense. Open three, but it's an air ball. Lincoln Tigers have the ball unless you get the jump ball. Jump ball, but it stays with Southeast, so let's see what happens here. Open shot, but it's a miss. Southeast gets another open three, but they miss. Lincoln Tigers corral the rebound. Let's see what they can do. John Jefferson throw the ball up. And Justin Pearson in the wing. He decides to bring it up top to see what he can do. Third base and defense, see what he can do. Ball goes to the corner that you gave it. Just cuts through the defense, dumps it off for the beautiful finish by Aaron Bedell. Aaron Bedell being listed as a 6-2 as a 6-2 forward. Open shot, but it's a D3 and they can it. Makes it a one point game for the Lincoln Tigers. And then they throw the ball away. His teammate does not seem happy about that there pass. Tigers look to stop the ball from coming in, and they do. And then Justin Pearson looks to push the ball, score to the senior to shine. He makes the way a beautiful pass. Makes it a, it's still a one-point game. I mean, not a one-point game, a one-possession game. Southeast Knights step out of bounds on a really wild play. Let's see what they can do to push the ball up the court. Lincoln Tigers have the ball in. They look to push it up the court as fast as possible. Adjusted Pearson with another easy lay-in down the court. Lincoln Tigers are pushing the ball very well, just 
They've come out scoring five straight points. They look to push the ball even more. Deep outlet pass, but it's broken up. The ball is knocked out of bounds, but it stays with the Lincoln Tigers. to score the ball, but he gets it blocked. But it appears to be a foul, but the refs did not call it, so let's see what happens on the next play. The Lincolns are playing, once again, playing, once, playing very good defense. Southeast Knights with the bucket. The Lincoln Tigers have the ball, and they look to push the ball up the court. The point guard decides to take his time coming up the floor. Enrico for three to, for the game tie, and it's good. He knocks it down at the end of the half, giving Lincoln Tigers a six point lead going into halftime. And that has to feel good for the Lincoln Tigers, who have struggled from deep all game. And the score going into halftime 17 to 23. Lincoln Tigers are up.
back after halftime, 23 to 17 is the score. Lincoln Tigers are up. Let's see if they can hold on to it for the rest of the game. Lincoln Tigers get the ball. Get, Lincoln Tigers get the ball coming out of halftime since they lost the tip. We are making sure that everything is correct for the game starts. Possession arrows is on the Lincoln Tigers, I believe. I guess that means Lincoln Tiger is losing the ball on this one. Will their good defense help them get it back or will they be stuck here? And Jay Best looks like to pick up full court. And Justin Pearson's there to stop the ball. Screen coming. Steal. Justin Pearson gets the ball at the top. They look to trap with the deflection. Justin Pearson gets the ball in the corner and says 10 to 2, but he doesn't. Ball's back up top. So a better look. Aaron Bedell drives in, gets the foul, and is going to the line. The foul is on 35, White, Darren Williams. Aaron Bedell at the line for two. Let's see if he can knock him down. Aaron Bedell knocks down the first one. Let's see if he can knock down a second, go two for two at the line and increase his Lincoln lead even further. Aaron Bedell goes two for two at the line to push the Lincoln lead to eight points. Lincoln Tigers are in the two three zone. Beautiful close out on the shooter, but the ball goes out of bounds. And it goes to the Lincoln Tigers. Beautiful. Southeast with some substitutions. Let's see what happens. Lincoln Tigers bring the ball up the court. Easy floater. Oh. Aaron Bedell gets the rebound, but he misses the layup. Same team, there's a fight down low. Southeast comes up with it, ball's on the ground, and they're out. It's a three-on-one break, but the team is sprinting back fast. And there's the close range shot to push into a five-point game. Oh, a six-point game. Justin Pearson beats his man, but there's a block up top. And it's good that makes it a three-point game. Southeast is coming to the highs, scoring amazingly. Really looking like they want to win this game, even despite the record.
full timeout as it appears with 20 seconds left in the timeout. Lincoln Tigers are only up by three. Let's see if they can make this work. Can they pull out the victory or will they fall prey to the light? the ball. Let's see what the Lincoln Tigers can do. The senior gets both on the jump with the pump fake and then puts it up for the easy way up. The drive by the point guard with a wild shot. It's the top of the backboard, so it's called out by the ref. There's a pass by the Southeast Knights. Lincoln Tiger seem to be handling it very well there. Inside to Aaron Bedell, and it's sent off the glass. The Tigers seem to be holding very good defense. Lincoln Tigers get the ball after the beautiful defensive stop by the senior. for the Southeast Knights to take out the point guard who just had the turnover. We'll see what the Lincoln Tigers can do now. Take the ball across court. Ball across court. Jump ball. Ball goes to the Southeast Knights. Justin Pearson tries to make a play. Lincoln Tigers appear to be in a 2 2. A 2-1-2 press. Let's see if it serves in the fish. They try to trap at the corner and get by. And they almost, and they give up the easy layup at the other end. Lincoln Tigers have to get it together as it appears the Southeast Knights are on the worst of a comeback. Ball that goes in the corner to the senior who shoots. It's a hard brick. And now they have to get back. And it's the reach and fall. Taking out of the game. And Justin gets the night, gets the field, passes off to EJ. EJ gets there. Oh, he misses the layup. He misses the layup, which is something you cannot afford to do in a close game like this. Was it a lapse of concentration or was he scared for the person behind him? You don't know. The players at the sub has come to the table to take him out though. Jeremiah Randall has checked in for EJ Best to shoot. Let's see if he can open this game up with a couple of threes. Ball swung across the court. To the corner. Aaron Bedell gets inside, but he misses the layup. They give up the rebound and Southeast Knights are off to the race. They try to be flashy with it. 
He has to get the board. He looks to attack. He doesn't get the layup. He misses. Jeremiah Randall with a beautiful post to stop an easy layup. They get the ball back and they manage to get it up, but then they miss. There's a fight down low, and the ball goes to the Southeast Knights after all the hustle. Jeremiah with a beautiful defensive play. Good job for the Randalls. Lauren Thomas checks in the game for Aaron Bedell. Appears to be a foul on number three with the arm bar, it appears. Ball so high to the backcourt. Let's see what they can do with it. You're going well for the Lincoln Tigers. They're having a good defensive play. They are only up one right now, though. Let's see what they can do with it. Lincoln Tigers made a tough defensive shot, but then they give up an easy layup. Lincoln Tigers are up and down one, so. Enrico Gilmore with the turnover. Southeast with an easy layup on the other end to put him up. One point. All right, put him up three points. Lincoln, the Lincoln Tiger coach calls time out. Let's see if he can really corral his team to see what's going on here. It's a full one minute timeout, so. Sit him down and see what's going on with the Lincoln Tigers here. In the corner, Rico Gilman for three. It's short. Over the back call on the seat for the senior who boxed out perfectly. She had beautiful position. Checking back into the game. Let's see what happens. Out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Southeast. Right. Hey, Rico comes out of the game. Having some wonderful play tonight. Let's see if his team can keep it with him. Travel! And the Rest make the right call as he slid and rolled on the floor for the travel call.
to the corner. He thinks about the three, but decides not to take it. JT goes in for the lay and gets fouled on the layup. He's a senior standing at six foot tall here at the line to see if he can break this down to at least a two point game. Well, he's brought it to a two point game. Can he make it a one point game with the next free throw? JT last year was the leader of this team and he still stands to be that leader today. He makes both of them down, knocking down the clutch free throws in a close game, making it a one point game. Ball goes to the corner. He looks to shoot the ball. And it's short. And he gets fouled on the bump. Southeast 30. is the first free throw, making, keeping it out of one point game. And that's the box out here after he misses both free throws. Can the Lincoln get a bucket here? And the three, three from corner. It's missed, but they don't get the rebound. Now it's, they appear to have a And there's the, block, there's the blocking charge. If he was set, it could have been a charge. Blocking foul on Lincoln, Lincoln Prep. And even here, we have a packed crowd here at the I.O. Fieldhouse tonight to watch this game. Five seconds before, 5.6 left in the game. They must be playing amazing defense. And it's a miss, keeping it at a one point game. Hopefully, Lincoln can pull away with the victory here tonight. I ain't smoking no more, y'all. Huh? I ain't smoking no more. Tigers are down one going into the fourth quarter. The Tigers have three timeouts while the Southeast Knights only have two. Let's we'll see what's going to happen. This game hangs in the balance is really who wants it more. Shooter in the corner, it's a three, and it's short. But they get it back with a beautiful hop step layup that he misses. The senior gets the rebound, the big, he misses it, but he gets it back again. Oh, but they strip it away. He almost threw it away there with that pass. Lincoln Tiger sprints back on defense though. There's a three, it's off, and it's not over the backboard like I thought it was going to be. And there appears to be the reach in foul. So the ball stays with the, with the Southeast Knights. Aaron Bedell's coming back into the game for the senior who missed the layup. Beautiful hustle by the senior though, beautiful hustle. There appears to be a scuffle, an exchange of words going into the, uh, going into the, uh, passing so all the rest teams can run over. Seems like the Lincoln Tigers have learned to play at hand. 
But the more she's playing with the beautiful blue, she gets in the bucket. Thank you, Tigers. Here's the Tiger team to set up in her offense. Let's we'll see what they can do. Senior rips through with the floater. It's short. Let's see if I think the Tigers can get back to play some defense. See if defense will win them this game. Like they have all so far. Close out on the shooter. And it's short. They get the rebound. It's a tough fight for it though. The ball gets out away from the track. Ball goes to the corner. And then the smart play to hit it off the other player's foot to get it out of bounds so he didn't get trapped and get the ball stolen. Beautiful play and beautiful IQ by the time. Aaron Bedell gets the ball. That was an icky pass. And that's a different in the corner with the ball. We'll see what he does with it. Here to be the tough finish with a good sent off the high glass. And then another deep three that's off. And the senior with a beautiful box out. Just the person in the corner. That back three for the senior. And it's good! Beautiful shot by the senior to tie the game with five minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ask the senior to take the responsibility to win his team the game. We'll see if they look to call on him for the rest of the game to keep them in there. Southeast with a beautiful bucket of sweeping for, to get them the uh, lead back. What were the Lincoln Tigers supposed to do here? The ball gets kicked back out to Elijah. He thinks about the three, but he decides not to take it. Bounce pass goes to the corner. It looks like they're looking to track, but they decide not to. And then an easy pass goes out to Aaron Bedell. The, the forward, the 6 4 forward. He looks, he's in there and looks at four. And then they're sitting beautifully on this defensive possession. And then there's a high off the ball. And they, manage, and they get the rebound. They have numbers, they look to push the ball. Adjusted Dixon with a beautiful finish to give his team the ball. To give his team the lead. Look at these boys reading. And then they get another, they get another steal. It's a pass to Bullet. They'll get another one. And now they're up. And the foul. With a three point play that has to be given the lead for the five points. They are currently up for it. If they score again, then they get it. It seems like a live goal. Almost got a take due to the fact that he celebrated. That seems like a very interesting call. That would have been it very, they would have got a lot of bad calls. It would have been a very, they would have got a lot of. Like the best at the line for the free throw to push the game to. He knocks it down. What a ice in his veins. He is ready to win this game. It looks like the Lincoln Tigers really won it. Adjust the person knocks it down on the end, knocks it out on the inbound to show that he's really there and ready to play defense. The Lincoln Tigers really want this game. There's a long rivalry between these two schools, and it could really all be settled here tonight. They get the ball up ahead. He throws it away, it's a crazy shot, and they get the rebound. Lincoln Tigers look to run the floor. There's a steal there. Southeast out, but Southeast throws the ball away. What an what a interesting change of events. You don't know what's gonna happen there. Stay tuned to see the outcome of the game with four minutes and nine seconds. Enrico Gilman looks to come back into the game. The senior. The seniors look to the two seniors in here at the forwards look to win this team the game. They look to guide their team to the victory here 
over their rival of five points. The senior from three. Uh, he gets it out, but Aaron Miguel gets the ball back. And he takes it to the to give his team a seven point lead. This is such a great game. You don't know what's going to happen down the wire. Southeast comes down the court, and they get fouled on the other end. The coach does not appear to be happy that that one man was able to dribble up the court all by himself without getting stopped. But the team is currently up seven points. up seven points. It's, a, it's going to be such a good, hard-fought victory if they win. This is such a change from the other two games to something the other two games that will blow out. And he misses the free throw, and the Lincoln Tigers get the rebound. They look to, if I was the Lincoln Tigers, I would look to slow the game down considering the fact that you have the lead with only three and a half minutes left in the game. But that's an easy mid-range shot. But he misses. Aaron Bedell gets the board, but he's blocked from behind. Lincoln Tigers looks to get back on defense and foul ball, and that they do. They really want this team to try to beat them in a half court. Lincoln Tigers gets a steal. He, he's out on the break. Aaron Bedell gets the tough finish. But he does not finish the ball, but he gets fouled, and he's looking to go to the line to knock down the free throws. Really, this line has been this, this game has been decided at the free throw line. Lincoln Tigers have been shooting a lot better than the um, than the Southeast Knights. This whole game is honestly decided here at the line, coming down to the wire. Who wants it more? Who has the better personnel for this type of game? Aaron Bedell knocks down the first free throw. This is just an amazing, amazing outing. With three minutes and 13 seconds left in the game, the Lincoln Tigers are up 42 to 34. Lincoln Tigers are sure to be in the one and one bonus here soon. Aaron Bedell knocks down both free throws to secure them a nine point lead. They sure look here to lock up on defense. Aaron Bedell seems to guard the ball handler. They trap. Beautiful shot, but he gets the ball out. They look to scramble that on defense. And a ice cold mid-range shot. Ah, so they let the ball fall out of bounds after the tip pass out was almost a steal. It is 36 to 43. This is such a close game. You don't know who's going to win here. Timeout called. Timeout call, Lincoln Prep. It's a full timeout. They go ahead and sit them down and get a rest and go ahead and try to drop a plan of what they want to do for the rest of the game. This is such a good game. You guys at home really should have came here to see it. Those of y'all at home really should have came in to see this game. The atmosphere is crazy. Every bucket gets a reaction from the crowd. You don't know what's going to happen. And the all-regional cheer team here at Lincoln is really going at it. They want to prove that Lincoln really is the best, and they started doing it here. The Lincoln Tigers look here to secure this game. in two minutes and 15 seconds. Still on the very first play after the timeout. Travel, number 11 on the Southeast Knights travels with the ball. He takes those three steps and that's a travel causing a very costly turnover here in a very tight game. 
Things like that can really change the whole game. But Justin brings the ball. He beats his man off the dribble. Passes it into Rico. Aaron Bedell gets it knocked away, but Aaron Bedell, everybody's diving on the floor. And there's a travel on the floor, the ball stays with Lincoln. Beautiful hustle to get on top of the ball like that. Beautiful hustle. The Lincoln Tigers really want to win this game here tonight. That's the two teams on their team before them. Elijah Bates gets the inbound play. Pushes him out the way. Lost the ball up top. Calls to the screen. Takes the screen. Ball comes back up top to Justin Pearson. Passes over to the senior. They look to just hold out the clock. Dante Washington beats his man off the dribble, but decides to take it back out. They really just want to call out the clock here. Aaron Bedell gets a three seconds. Oh no. Oh, offensive foul. I am. So far, offensive foul. And then we have a timeout on the side of Southeast. It is a full timeout. Full timeout. And now here's an ad for my sponsor, Dave Settlement. It's still such a tight game here at the IL Fieldhouse. It's still packed. You can feel the tension. You can cut it with a knife almost, a butter knife at that. Thirty-six to forty-three here in the fourth quarter. Southeast Knights are in the bonus, and Lincoln Tigers are not. basketball game here. It's really still anybody's game, but the Lincoln Tigers are slowly inching towards victory. Rico Gilman picks up full court. Looks not to get beat. And he gets a steal. What an amazing play by the senior. And then he's fouled, pushing them to six fouls. And then the push is into the one and one, which is really what you want going into this part of the game. Oh, it's a tech? And then there's a technical foul on number two, which really gets them. What a crazy change of events. The rest are here trying to figure out what they're supposed to do. Now they're in the bonus here. So they should get to the two shots and then the technical foul free throw, which would. I knew. I heard it here first, guys. The refs are going to go one and one because the foul will happen before the technical foul. So we're going one and one if he knocks down the. And then the Lincoln Tigers get the ball back no matter what due to the fact of the technical foul. Then they get the technical foul free throw and then they get the ball back. This is a really good opportunity for the Lincoln Tigers to put this game away. Okay, there's been an update. All they're shooting is a technical foul free throw. Aaron Bedell comes to the line being. Aaron 
it out here. Let him have to make the shot. Ah, oh, and he misses. He misses the first one. He has one more, and then they get the ball back. Aaron Bedell's a very good free throw shooter on the season. And he knocks down the second. This puts his team up another point. With a minute 38 left in the game, Lincoln Tigers are up 44 to 36. Both teams are in the bonus. The ball is inbound from Lincoln Tigers. It goes back to Justin Pearson. He's here. He's here to orchestrate the offense and to make something happen. He falls on the ball, though. They get it taken away. Lincoln Tigers are sprinting back on defense. The Southeast Knights get the bucket. That pushes it to a six point game. Lincoln Tigers have numbers. They decide not to work with it, though. The senior has the ball, looks to protect it. One minute. There's one minute left in the game. There you go. So Justin Pearson gets fouled on the reach. He's at one and one. Hopefully he can knock these down and push this to a three possession game. Lincoln Tigers are here. 52.2 seconds left in the game. And Justin Pearson knocks down the first three throw and pushes to a three possession game, folks. Here is really where teams go. This is where teams. I can't speak. Teams here. Adjusting knocks down both free throws. He was bred for this moment. He is here. And now he's back playing amazing defense. They set up all they don't want to do is give up the three. There's the kick. The ball's out. They're looking. And then he scores the basket. The basket scores, pushes it to a 10 point game. And I think, folks, that's the. Rico Gilman gets a foul. They are in the double bonus, folks. No, they're in the single bonus. I'm sorry. Seems like some of the old Lincoln alumni cheerleaders have come back and joined the group. It's a, such a crazy occurrence. You only see this at Lincoln. I've never seen this anywhere else. <laughs> Southeast gets the rebound back, but then they miss the layup. The ball's kicked out. Kicked out again. Beautiful control. It's a mid-range shot. It's hard. The Southeast Knights get the ball back. They look to throw it in. Oh, Justin Pierce to close out on the long first start rebound. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The Lincoln Tigers have won the game. They have come back after trailing in the first quarter to win the game. They have beat their rival in Southeast High School, and this could only be a representation of what's to come at the district playoff time. This was such a beautiful game. And those at home really to the team to watch the person. Great game by both teams with the Lincoln Tigers that come out on top. You already know, it's your boy, Jordan Ashley on the mic. Uh, great job by everyone at all. Once again, this is Blue Tigers TV. And as you see the team drop off, all right, folks, get home safe and don't do anything stupid. <laughs>